Hi. Hey, it's me, Donnie, the Chili Mancer, and uh, I'm glad to see you, cousins. Thanks for coming back to the channel. I heard wind that you wanted to eat things like the Spice King, so uh, I came here with some tips, pre-prepared, by the way, on how to build your tolerance so you too can be a king of the spice. Let's get started. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Look how close I am to a thousand. Uh, if you've never eaten spicy food before, the number one thing that you're gonna wanna do is test your tolerance. And what I mean by test your tolerance is find something spicy, eat it, and then kind of see how you feel about it. There's not really much to this step except for you've got to start somewhere. So uh, the trick is to try to find that sweet spot where it's just hot enough so you're uncomfortable and then kind of step back, take a look at the pain a little bit, just enjoy yourself for a while. I, I do recommend starting small. What I used to do back in the day is I'd take some crazy sauce. I'd take something like Da Bomb and then I would take tiny, tiny amounts of that and then see how much I could take. It wasn't very accurate, so I started doing chili pods. Serranos and jalapenos are perfect for this. Go to the store, get a jalapeno, a fresh jalapeno, or you can even start with a pickled jalapeno if you want. They taste pretty good. Grab some jalapenos, whatever kind that you choose. Write on a piece of paper just how you feel. Write about where the pain is in your mouth. Write about what it feels like for you on a scale of one to 10 on the hottest things that you've ever eaten in your life. Sit there and kind of Think about the way that it feels instead of reacting to the way that it feels. I know it's gonna be hard at first, but once you figure that out, then it makes it a lot easier to get to the next step. So eventually, after you eat jalapenos a few times, you're going to notice that it doesn't burn like it used to burn. Uh, especially with jalapenos, your tolerance builds up pretty quickly to them. What I did is I moved on to serrano peppers and also Thai chilies are kind of fairly easy to get uh, whenever you eat Thai chilies, it'll light you up a little bit more than a jalapeno. It's just a step away from the uh, the next level, which is the habanero level. Habanero level heat is probably my favorite heat. It's a really big accomplishment if you can eat a habanero whenever you're just starting out. That's like the first super hot pepper that I recommend people try is the habanero pepper. You can get the orange habanero in a lot of different places. I don't recommend starting out with the red habanero, but if you're feeling frisky, you can go ahead and try it. I do have videos on here from whenever I ate my very first orange habanero, so you can go ahead and take a look at that. I have a video of me eating Carolina Reapers on this channel. It was a tiny little guy. He was just about this big. He was plenty spicy. At that point though, I had eaten so many habaneros, I barely felt it. After that, I ate scorpion peppers and ghost peppers, and I even ate some ghost peppers at some haunted places, and you can go back and check that out. Maruga brains, all kinds of crazy Chinese varieties that are, are honestly pretty scary. Within a few months, I was able to eat a lot of crazy looking peppers, and it didn't really hurt that bad. It didn't feel like it hurt that much more than a jalapeno whenever I started out. It's all about that progress, and your body will definitely thank you. Every time you eat something spicy, your body builds up a little bit of a tolerance to it. So, you know, as you go up the progressive levels, your body will get trained to be able to handle stuff at that heat. And it makes it a lot easier. You know, heat doesn't only affect your mouth, it also affects your stomach and uh, any other soft, sensitive tissues coming out the other end. So that's why it's important to make sure your entire body gets used to it. You don't wanna just dive in on something that you're not familiar with, or you could potentially, it's not going to kill you. It's not gonna damage you in any permanent way, but it's going to be miserable. And every experience you have that is a negative experience re related to peppers, trust me, it's going to make it so you do not fare well in the future against that same pepper, uh, unless you really wanna do it. At that point, it's just willpower, chugging along. Well, I guess at the end of this video, what I'd like to conclude is that if you want to be like the Spice King, start small, start with things that you're comfortable with, and then progressively move up. I definitely recommend using jalapenos, using serranos, using habanero peppers, and then going for something in the super hot range. You want to be able to get right up around half a million Scoville comfortably 
uh, before you move on to the super hots because the super hots are called super hot for a reason. And also, don't do this unless you really want to. If you really, really want to do it though, it is a fun journey. It's a whole lot of fun to test your limits, see what you're capable of handling, and uh, compete against your friends in a way that uh, is a truly an adventure. So I will see you guys later. Let me know in the comments section how it goes for you. I want to see what level you're at. So right now, what's the hottest thing that you would comfortably feel comfortable eating? I'm looking forward to hearing all of your answers and I'll try to answer your comments uh, as they come in. So I hope you have a great day. Thanks for tuning in. Good luck with everything and I will see you later.